My mother needs your help. Ask. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought, if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. Yeah, but you can do lady, it, right? And I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. Just shut the fuck up, Sarah. Please, Lady Marjorie, I beg of you. I fear for my family's safety. Sarah, come on, shut up. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out. Uh, this is the only way you're, you're adored by the king. You're adored by the king. Yeah, you're right. You're adored by the king. Don't let the queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Yeah. Ramsay Snow will you're the queen. Within well, the week. kind of. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Come on. Very well. Yeah. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. Oh, Marjorie, you're so you're so nice. It's probably I'm probably gonna die because of it. You know, exiled. I don't know. Well, it's you're awesome. I love it. Who is that? Oh, hey, it's me. One of me. <laughs> horse! No! Please don't go! What a dumb horse. Seven hells. The hell? Let's play a little game, shall we? <gasps> oh no, not him! Sisters wore the skins of their enemies as a coat. Don't look at me. Oh my God! He's, he's gone to Ramsey, isn't he? Work, I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise. <laughs> Like a drowning cat. I don't know why it, why it never is red and stuff, As but... As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets, but the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father. <laughs> why am I doing this? <laughs> he does now. Here we go. How much further is hey. it? Hey! To these foresters. Uh, oh, no. Two at most. What was that? What, what do you mean? It was a stick on the ground. Shh. Listen. Oh, you don't have that kind of hearing. Shut up. Dude, get out. Dude, get out. Please don't do that. Don't do that. Please don't. Please no. Hear that? Stay still. I know I heard something. Stay still. Come on. Never mind. Oh yes. Oh fuck. We've wasted enough time already. Whew. Whew. Thank God they don't look behind trees. Ah, oh, that was smart. Staying still resolves everything. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, who is that? Did he? What did he write? Come on. It's not like he's gonna break out and transform into Hawk himself. Come on. I wanna see it. 
I want to see it. I want to see it. Holy sh... What the hell? What the fuck was that? <laughs> oh. Where am I now? There you go. I'm Lord the... Ethan. I'm Lord Ethan. As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. Come on. <laughs> You're making this old man but poor old, old man. Hundred generations of Forest Never mind. Lord stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. Gregor the Good. What will they call me? I wanted to be like wise. him while you're telling me this. And what will they call me? Battle. And what will they call me? That is for you to define as the new lord. I want to be called. These were your father's people to awesome. lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others, the Lord Sentinel. Hmm. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. I'm gonna ch I'm gonna choose my uncle. That's who, gonna, who I'm gonna choose. Keep walking, you creamers, son of a whore. Move. Who is that? Summon the Lord. We need his judgment. Who is that? I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. Uncle! Uncle Duncan! Uh why did you kick him? Missed. Why did you kick this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. Whoa. This house is doomed! Shut up. We all fucking know it! Don't Quiet slap him. Thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Whoa. Why Two did shields you do and three spears. You stole from us? You stole from us. I feared for my life. Why did you steal? My lord, I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. They're not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Yes, go. Lord hmm. Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. Please don't make me kill this man. We'll never survive the coming winter. Together we'll survive. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. The winter takes like <laughs> 400 years to you come. You address him as Lord. Will you stop kicking him? Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. We can send him to the war. Mm. Come on. Ah. Uh. I will decide. Send him to the war. Take his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Well, Uncle Duncan... Please, my lord. My family depends on me. Well, if I show him mercy... I can take three fingers. I can, I can send him to the wall. I can send him to the wall. I sentence you to the wall, where you will join the Night's Watch. No, please, my lord! Yeah. My family, without me, they'll die! No, they won't! <laughs> You're a criminal, though. Why is my sister like that? What do you mean, remember this judgment? What am I supposed to do? I could take three fingers that out of him. Certainly unpleasant. What the but fuck? The Lord must meet our punishment when it's due. I don't want. I don't want my. Not what is that? Yourself, of course. Was I right, Maester? What do you think? Me. Yes. Did I do what's right? The wall seems like a fitting place for a thief. 
I only hope he doesn't find Garrett there and take his anger out on the poor squire. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. My uncle! Someone you can uh, rely on, no matter the circumstance. Who would you choose? Who do you think I should choose? Yeah. There are two capable men for the role. Yeah, Uncle Duncan, there you go. They both want <laughs> a job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. I'll make the right choice as sentinel. Just put it in my butt. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Okay, so I can... Hmm. Hmm. Now, Uncle Duncan knows what, you know, everything is about, like, the North thing that the Squire told him. I mean, me, the Squire told him, so I have that one going for me, but, I'm sorry, again, my mom called me. Uh, but at the same time, you know, that other guy, he, he looks like, he looks like he knows stuff. So, uh, let's talk to Duncan first, let's, let's just talk to him, just ask him... Duncan. What would he do? Yes, my lord. If I can. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. Hmm. Uh. As well about sentinels. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? I don't know yet. Perhaps I can share my insight. Okay. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided yet. Well, you must soon, my lord. This is not a matter to be taken lightly. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Well, that was that was it. Let's uh, let's go talk with my sister if I can. I can't apparently. She's only just doing the things. Oh, Malcolm. Who's Malcolm? Malcolm in the middle. Hello. Ethan, or should I say Lord Ethan? <laughs> Hello, Uncle Malcolm. Uncle Malcolm! I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. Yeah, I just, um... I to be off tomorrow. Where are you going? But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him. To help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course. Until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. Mm. You know that just as well. She's my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. Yeah. I know you will. You're good hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. Yeah. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. Why are you sure so? Trust him. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Okay. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. It not kind of is. Of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. There we go. Now I can talk to her. 